When a pet goes missing, most of us would give it a few days or perhaps a few weeks before giving up hope. So imagine the surprise of one man from New South Wales when he got a call more than three years later to say, come and pick up your dog. It's been found almost a thousand kilometres away. What? Today's Mike Dalton went along to the reunion. For the last three and a half years, there has been a hole in the life of Zane Byrne. Jimmy was just a little pup when I got him. I had him for a year and a half. Uh, and then he went missing. We used to be down the street having something to eat and then Jimmy would turn up. And he'd, just, he'd hear it say he's going to town and, and that's, yeah, that was just the way he was, but he was always coming home. But one day, Jimmy just didn't come home to his home at Yamba on the New South Wales far north coast. He's such a good little dog. We were pretty devastated. He hadn't come back for a week or so and we just thought, yeah, you know, he's definitely... We, we looked around and, yeah, they, no one had seen him. But a few weeks back, Zane got a call from the council pound at Bathurst, more than 800 k's away. And that's why Zane is now on the road, heading past Bathurst's big prospector on the edge of town and heading for a reunion. And prepared for him on the, for the return home, mate, you know, uh, a finely chopped scotch fillet, a nice yeah, fluffy yeah, new blanket in the dog yeah, box. Got new, new blanket, new, loot, new collar, yep, good to go. I just hope he remembers me. So do I. <laughs> Otherwise, this story yeah, no, is going to stink up the joint. On the outskirts of town, at the Bathurst Council Pound, Jimmy remains in solitary and is looking as such. Michael Hall is assistant ranger. Jimmy was found actually straying out on the uh, Blaney Road, just uh, just out of town. Uh, somebody found him, gave us a call, uh, and uh, we went out and picked him up and scanned him for his chip. All right. So it sounds like he was wandering out of town about to start the next set of journeys. I'd say so, because he's travelled a fair way so far. How was Jimmy looking when you picked him up? I mean, was he looking healthy? Look, yeah. Or did he look like he'd been a bit on the road? No, he looked quite healthy. He, he obviously had been looked after by somebody. You're right. Yeah, I'm good, mate. It's going to be a happy reunion. It's good, bro. Let's, Let's not delay this any further. Huh? At first, it seems Zane and Jimmy, Jimmy. didn't recognise each other. <laughs> but then the realisation grows and the grand reunion without the man made bars that separate. We both are so excited because we're reunited. Oh, it's so good to see you, man. Remember me? Mate, I was getting a bit worried there as to whether or not he'd recognise you. No, no. I was Just looking... now. <laughs> I was... He, um... yeah, he definitely still looks the same. He's only... He's a bit skinnier. He's hurting my kneecap with the way this tail is wagging. And Jimmy found happy and familiar smells in Zane's truck. Sitting up front, back in the old seat. With the paperwork complete, Jimmy and Zane headed off to pick up where they left off three and a half years ago. What a great story. Another happy reunion. Yeah, no? All good. And that's why you've got to have a ute. It, this is Just true. Just the inevitability of finding your dog three Correct. years later. The Hilux. <laughs> Let's get some weather now with Steve Jacobs. Hey, Stevie. G'day, Carlos. I'm on the snow this morning at the closest <laughs> ski ball mountain to Melbourne. We're at Lake Mountain this morning. And they've got 37 k's of fantastic cross-country trails. Now, this is the front trail, which is called the Village Trail. Oh. Whoa! Have a look at that. We've got one over. This is not the easiest sport, particularly if you're going over jumps. We've got the long cross-country skis out, but you will find some of the best cross-country skiers in Australia here. And we're going to show you a little bit more of this action right after we have a look at the weather at your place. That's See what cool. you're doing as you wake up this morning. In, I'm sure you're not doing this when you're in Cairns, eh? Because it's fine and sunny in 26. It's looking clear through Townsville. 27, Brisbane 25 and the Gold Coast 24. Possible morning showers in Sydney in 18. A little light morning frost in Canberra today, a chilly 12 degrees. In Melbourne, there'll be some afternoon showers developing in 15. A wet day in Hobart, also 11 degrees. A few morning showers in Adelaide, a top of 16. Showers on the increase in Perth today, and you can expect windy conditions and 23. But sunshine for the Alice, 26. And Darwin, sunny and dry, and a top of 32 
degrees. So I think the best thing for me about Lake Mountain with an hour and a half just outside of Melbourne, if you've got young kids like I have and you want to introduce them to the snow for the first time, this is the perfect place for a day trip or a weekend. There's so much up here for the kids to do, including the zip line, <laughs> snow tubing. Again, that bloke. But if you want to try out a little bit of cross 